Mom, can we have Cyberpunk 2077, please? We have Cyberpunk at home. Cyberpunk 2077 is here and boy does it look shitty on consoles. Can you play the texture thing? That, that clip is fucking terrible. Luckily for the PC master race, right? You don't have to suffer from these problems because you've got your computer. But the game is taxing, bro. It's taxing in a way that it makes my tax demands look silly, which is not an under overstatement because they financially crippled me. Cut. We'll show you how to boost your FPS, how to fix the audio issues in the game and how to stop the game from crashing. Let's start with the frames per second, right? Go into the Cyberpunk 2077 settings, obviously. Go into the Select Graphics tab. From there, find Cascaded Shadow Resolution. Turn that off completely or change that to medium low. Then you go back to the game or you even restart the game entirely to make sure it really works. Now apparently with this solution, people have been able to go from 20 frames per second to 60. Huge increase, that's 40 frames per second increase. <laughs> Quick maths. How to fix the audio. How to get rid of that crackling sound in the back there, right? Just get that little crackhead out of your apartment. <laughs> get it? No, seriously, how to fix the fucking the crackling sound because it's super annoying. And this one's actually fantastic. I have these sunglasses on because I can read off my laptop screen. You can't even tell, right? So how to fix it, you, you go um, on, it's obviously in Windows 10, it's not in game. You go back onto your computer, you right click on the speaker icon, icon in the bottom right corner of your desktop. You click open sound settings, select output device properties, then select additional device properties, select the advanced tab and change your audio device quality down to 96,000 hertz or until the crackle goes away. Lastly, how do you stop the game from crashing? Obviously the biggest issue because you pay for this game, you want to play it. You need a, for this fix to work, you need an Nvidia graphics card, but there's another one coming after without one, right? But first the Nvidia graphics card fix. Open Nvidia GeForce Experience, select the drivers tab. Click download and when they are ready to be installed, click install and when the installation is complete, restart your computer. So you just update your drivers basically. They just released new ones I think yesterday. So that causes problems for a lot of people. And if that's not working, there's another solution. Uh, if you play it on Steam, try going into Steam, select Cyberpunk 2077, go on properties, go on the local files tab and from there click on verify the integrity of the game files and that should then work for you, hopefully. If not, people on the internet have reported that deleting the game and re-downloading it also did the trick. Obviously, it's a big time sink with how huge the game is, but hey, PC guys, PC masters, you fantastic people. Don't sweat it if the game is not running properly because on consoles, it looks like this. If this helped you out, Three fixes, one video. God damn, we're efficient. We could have turned this into three videos to get your views, but we don't want them. We, we, we do want them, but we also want your subscription and your comments. Do you have the game? Do you like it? Are you are the bugs fucking you over? Do you, are you playing on a PlayStation and Xbox? Or it's terrible. <laughs> so many things I want to know. Comment them and see you tomorrow for more news. All right, take care of yourselves, you beautiful bastards. <laughs> Why did I say that?